hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Deary, and today i'm going to show you how to download and install relight onto g shade so if you don't know what relight is it is a lighting effect that is used in g shade and reshade i don't have reshade but i do have g shade so i will show you guys how to download it for g shade and i will link another tutorial for reshade users in the description below so the first thing you're going to do is open up your g shade control panel once it's open you're going to go to installations and click add new and you're you're going to go to automatic path detection and find the sims 4 and click next after this you can honestly don't change anything here you can leave it alone and click install once it's installed you click finish and this part right here is just for your screenshots you can click yes or no so i just finished showing you how to download and install reshade into the sims 4 now i'm going to show you how to add relight into your game so in the description box below you will find the relight download folder okay so now you want to follow along with me really really close you're gonna open this by double clicking and the next thing you want to do is right click the sims 4 open file location so now we have these two screens you want to go to go to g shade add-ons double click this and open your shaders open relight shaders and copy and paste this into your g shade settings like so so I'll just basically replace this. And then you want to go into textures, go back into your relight textures and put this blue noise into your G shade add on textures like so copy and paste it because I already have it. And now what you're going to do is open the Sims 4. So once you're in the Sims 4, you want to open your G shade control panel. Mine is set to F2. Yours might be shift F2 or shift backspace. I'm not sure. So if you downloaded relight correctly into your G shades, you should be able to type in in the search relight and it should pop up as quince relight and it should look like this. And if you right click, you can hotkey it and I hotkeyed mine to F8. Hotkeying just makes it easy to turn it off and on what i like about relight is you are in control of how the light hits your sim but underneath relight all you have to do is click it and you have all these settings this is the active light this little blob right here is one of the lights this is active light too and if you don't want the little blobs you can turn them off but once you close the control panel they go away anyway so it's not like staying in game so the first number right here this 369 is to change it from like left to right or very very far away or very very close see how the sun is like hitting her face the 0.95 is to make it up and down and this one right here is how big or how small you want the light to be because my sim is a redhead i chose my tint to be this light color and for the active light too i chose a darker orange which i don't really think if this makes any difference but same thing with this one you can make it left to right up down big or small i like this to be pretty big and then they both have intensity so you can make it super duper bright to make your sim super duper bright or super duper dark if you slide it all the way but i'm just gonna position this to my liking and this is so perfect for like screenshots i took a bunch of screenshots with this already today so i'll put some of the pictures here i know a lot of us are visual learners so i hope my tutorial really helped you and if you have any questions i will try my best to answer them in the comments below but in the meantime that is it for today's video i think it was pretty simple and easy if you enjoyed please leave a like comment and subscribe and and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.